Here are 49 traditional frugal living tips you might want to try today. Avoid brands whenever possible. The quality of generic brands is sometimes just as good, if not better, than name brand alternatives. Some supermarkets have even introduced their own budget-friendly brands as an alternative in recent years. These store brands are just as excellent as the top ones but much more affordable. You should downsize your home. If you're serious about cutting costs, downsizing to a smaller home or property can help you save money on utilities and upkeep. Use reusable cloth items. Instead of using paper towels, invest in microfiber wipes that can be used over and over again. They may be reused and laundered, saving you from spending money on disposable paper towels. Home workout. Home workouts are equally efficient as those at a gym, yet they cost nothing. YouTube and other such sites allow learning new workouts without leaving your house. Switch off the TV. To save money on power, give up watching TV for a while and use that time to work on skills development or discover a new activity. Cook from scratch at home. Cutting food costs by cooking is an excellent idea. This may reduce the amount of money you spend on dining out, which is hardly a frugal way of life. Being able to manage additives like salt and sugar makes cooking at home healthier. Eat at home. Because restaurant food is expensive, eating outdoors should be limited to special occasions. Although there are less expensive options, they are far less healthy. To save money, try to eat at home and consume home-cooked meals as often as possible. Look up easy recipes. Because you will cook from scratch and eat a lot at home, seek simple recipes. Now that you can access the internet, you can find a wide variety of one-pot recipes that are simple to prepare and tasty. Don't throw away any leftovers. Don't waste food, even if you're eating alone or you overestimated the quantity of food to prepare for the family. Keep any leftovers in the fridge for the following day's lunch or dinner. You may eat it as is, or you can add some spices and create a whole new meal. Always use an apron in the kitchen. You know how everyone in your family, from grandparents to parents, wears an apron while they cook, right? Stains from oil and food are very difficult to get rid of, not to mention time-consuming. Wearing an apron might save you the hassle of cleaning it. If it can also be waterproof, that's even better. Eat more leafy greens. Meat was and still is expensive due to market fluctuations. Meat isn't as healthy as greens, so you may want to try substituting them. Drink water. The cost of beverages like soda, coffee, and tea adds up quickly and may go unnoticed. Avoid the health risk and the cost by bringing your water everywhere you go. Prepare your coffee at home. If you really can't give up coffee, why not brew your own? You may save money on coffee by making it at home with brewing equipment and some beans. Learn how to bake. If you like eating cakes, create your own. Teach yourself or use the internet. Make the most of your oven. Eat more filling meals. Include starchy vegetables and grains like potatoes, maize, and beans in your daily diet. As a result, you may eat less of them and yet feel full for longer. Make use of what you have. Try substituting the next best thing for any things you don't have that the recipe calls for. Add substitute ingredients sparingly to prevent wasting food later, and taste your food as you go. Utilize used containers. Recycled jars and containers are common at your grandparents' house. Glass jars, for example, are better than plastic containers and are healthier for the environment. Get your shopping done in bulk. You need to tread lightly here. Only purchase in quantity what you know you will consume. Also, ensure you know when they go bad and how to keep them fresh for as long as possible. Own a little farm garden. Growing your own food is the most old-fashioned thing you can do. If you don't have any prior experience, that's okay. Potatoes and herbs are good places to start. Preserve any surplus food. Don't be a wasteful person and throw extra food. Do some research on canning, preserving, and jamming to find out how to store them. Try baking your bread. Instead of purchasing them from bakeries, you should learn how to make them. People who like eating bread for meals and snacks may find this extremely helpful. Renovate your house by yourself. DIY is something old-fashioned people have always taken pride in. Check online tutorials to see if you can save money on labor costs by painting a wall or replacing bathroom tiles yourself. Leave it to the experts if you're unsure about your abilities. Never have an empty pantry. If there is nothing to eat in the pantry, you may have to make an unplanned trip to the supermarket and end up buying more food than you need. Prevent last-minute runs to the grocery store by keeping a steady supply of pantry basics. Learn how to sew. Learning how to sew may be a huge money saver throughout your life. Watch videos and grasp the fundamentals of sewing so you can confidently tackle your next project. Mend your clothes. DIY clothing repairs are an old-fashioned, inexpensive practice. As a result, 
you won't have to throw away a garment that can still be worn. If you do it yourself instead of paying someone else to, you can save some cash. Sew your clothes. Although this kind of sewing is more complex, you may be amazed at how much money you can save by sewing your clothes. You may purchase affordable fabric to sew items like skirts, blouses, and curtains. Additionally, it makes a great hobby or diversion. Sun dry your clothes. Dry your clothes in the fresh air and sunshine instead of running up your utility expenses by using a dryer. Pick a bright day to wash your clothes. To make the most of the sun's energy for drying, you may also wash the clothes first thing in the morning. Empty those tubes. Make sure you get every last drop out of your bottle of toothpaste, face cleanser, or moisturizer. Use a toothpaste squeezer or open the package to remove any remaining substance before throwing it away. Make use of scrap paper. You can use both sides as scratch paper. You can use it for small notes and lists or give it to children to draw and write on. Switch on just one bulb at a time. It's preferable to use a large, bright light to illuminate the space rather than smaller, softer lights, such as mood or side lights. More money may be saved on power bills if LED lights are used. Pick free and basic entertainment. Having a good time doesn't have to cost money. You can get together with the family and play some board games or go for a stroll in the park. Pay with cash. Use cash rather than debit or credit cards to minimize debt and keep better track of your expenditures. Rather than making impulsive purchases, save up for the goods you want to buy. If you see something you want to buy, put money aside for it so you may purchase it later when you have enough money. Trim your hair. If you only need a quick trim, you may save money by doing it at home. If you don't trust yourself to do the task, have a relative help you out. Get rid of unnecessary items. Clutter may make you overlook essentials. Get rid of unwanted items by holding a garage sale or donating them to charity. Learn how to do simple car maintenance. Automobile repair bills may be expensive. Learn how to keep your automobile in excellent shape and do simple repairs that can help you save money. Give homemade presents. These products may be candles, soaps, or crocheted items. Making and giving handmade presents is much less expensive and more personal. Barter or swap items. You may advertise stuff you wish to exchange for products you have online if you have things you no longer need. By doing this, you and the other person may find a new use for the object rather than throwing it out. Buy at thrift stores. Even in the olden days, people loved to shop at thrift stores. These shops and marketplaces often have a wide selection of reasonably priced items. Go there if you want to save money. Purchase timeless items. Instead of buying items from fleeting trends, save up for timeless items that will remain in style long after the current trend is past. Don't let trends influence you. Consider if you can envision yourself utilizing or wearing a certain fashion item a few years later. This reasoning may also be applied to impulsive purchases, house upgrades, and equipment. Consider using natural remedies. If you feel ill, attempt some home remedies, such as drinking ginger honey tea or consuming abundant fruits and vegetables. However, if your symptoms do not diminish and persist, you should visit your doctor. Purchase second-hand items. You can find gently used furniture, appliances, clothing, handbags, and accessories in numerous stores and on the internet. If you want to save money without sacrificing quality, consider purchasing second-hand. Walk if you can. If the distance isn't far, walk instead of using the bus or vehicle. It's also an excellent workout. You may also ride a bike to get there. Go to your local library. You may borrow books and chill yourself in their air-conditioned area. It combines free entertainment and leisure. Do it yourself if you can. The do-it-yourself mentality is a common thread throughout. Learn how to make, cook, or enhance something if you want it. Spend time in nature. Calmly strolling around the neighborhood is the best therapy. Spend some time outdoors, away from the TV, and discover the nearby parks, walking pathways, and vegetation. Put more value in your connections than in your stuff. Spend time and energy on the people you care about instead of buying items you don't need. Picnics and hiking are great examples of low-cost group activities. Be satisfied with what you possess. The greatest traditional advice is to be content with what you have. This way of thinking will save you a lot of money because you won't have to purchase the newest devices and follow the latest trends. If you like this video, consider giving us a like and subscribe for more content.